This is the follow-up to the Scooby sneaking away drawing cleanup. So we've already done the blue line. Let's get on with the cleaning up. Put a clean sheet of paper over the blue line drawing. Smooth it out so we can see it clearly. And I've got a general's drafting pencil here plus a design ebony pencil and a Derwent Graphic 6B. You use the pencil that you like. Um, where to start? We could start with the head. And let's start up here, come around like this with the neck. Oh, I forgot. Let's look at the drawing of Scooby from the model sheet and see where they've got their heavy lines. Bottom of the neck. For some reason, top of the back as it curves up and around here. Back of the haunch, back of the leg. Bottom of the feet should always be heavy. This side and the bottom of his face. These are heavier lines here. Bottom of his leg heavier. Bottom of his belly heavier. That line should be heavier here. Bottom of the tail. So let's get on with cleaning up. Looks like there's three line weights here. These thin ones, the regular line, and then the heavy line. Let's try and do some of that. Plus we can add our own, our own judgment as to where heavy line should be. So let's see, we've got this line on the back that comes down. Notice how I've drawn through the collar. When you use a soft pencil, you don't have to really press that hard. Come down with the neck, you can draw two lines and then just fill in like that to get the heavy line. This line comes here, then we have a line that comes around for the bottom of his jaw. That line can be a little bit thicker. And then the line on the side of his face. I've added a curve there. You don't have to. And it comes down like that. There we go. Up. A nice curve down like this. The model sheet has that line thick. So we can keep it like the model sheet. Make this one thick because it's on the bottom. And draw through to keep the neck coming down like that to connect with the ear. And a line up top. And another line here. And here's his eyebrows. Those will get filled in. We don't have to do that now. And line up for his ear. It comes down like this. And then in here. Then we do a thinner line here. It comes down there. And let's see if we can now describe those eyes. Some nice shapes here. Eyeball looking up. And just take your time with these lines. There we go. Little line under his eye. There's one. There's another one here. 
and this line here. And now let's put his nose in there. And nose comes pretty much up to that line. Comes around here. And then connects up here. And then his lower lip, right on around like that. So let's continue on with the body. Nice curve all the way around like that. I'm taking liberties with what's on the model sheet just because I want to. And this line on around. Now his leg comes out from here and it comes down. So this line should be a little bit, just a little bit heavier. And then we can come up and around like this and this line should be heavier because it's on the bottom. And then it's a nice curve inside. And round like that. And let's see. Now what you can do is you can pick up your page and see which blue line you want to follow. Looks like I missed one there. So let's take that line out and this line is supposed to come down here and then a line like this like I said I don't really have to press all that hard because I'm using a 6B pencil You have to have control, but you don't have to press too hard if you use a nice soft pencil and if your paper is not too, too bumpy. So now his tail comes down like this and actually goes off the page. And then the bottom part. So while we're back here, let's do the back leg, which comes up and then curves down like that. And the back foot, it comes straight across. Take a look at what you did. You can go here and then this paw, it looks like it connects right there and that one like that there so I've made the lines a little bit thicker down here this is his front leg and this shoulder comes up and around like that and you can make that line a little bit thicker and this comes down and around like here describes a nice circle And here. So now we go across. And 
And while we're here, we can add the line that comes out like that. And there's a bit of a spot here. And another spot right about here. And another one here. And his chest is just a continuation of his belly. So let's draw right through to make sure that it connects up right. It comes up here. And this other front leg gets interrupted by the tag, but a light line would go right through that so you could see his front paw come down. And you can make those lines a little bit thicker. Like so. So that's basically it. And then we need to put his collar on there. So the collar should be parallel to his neck and it should come down and around here. going to be the ring comes through to hold his dog tag and the line goes through it to go around like that and then we put some thickness on the dog tag like so And we can make this line a little bit thicker. And his little whiskers come out. So they've got some motion lines that go around this paw and this back paw. Just to show that he's moving. We need a line here to show some anatomy. And I think that is... <clears throat> I think that about does it. Now we can fill in the eyebrow. Like that. My pencil's not as dark as I thought it would be. So we can use the design ebony pencil to really sharpen up and darken in those lines. Looks like he has some line there. I think that's about it. So there you have how to do the cleanup for the character. You can smooth this out a bit. And usually what you do is you check to see where your lines are, but if you don't have to, you don't have to. So don't worry about that. When you're doing actual in-betweening, you have to do that. You have to flip the page back and forth just to make sure that you've got your volumes and shapes 
in just the right places. But that's basically how you do your cleanup. Now you can either do it on a clean sheet or you could have rubbed down your original drawing, the blue pencil drawing, and just cleaned it up on that sheet if you wanted to. It just depends on uh, what the project demands, I guess. So, now you can try it on your own and see if you like, see if you like doing that. Animation cleanup. And until next drawing, we will see you next time and keep drawing and keep having fun.